everyone, what's up? Princess here, and welcome back to The Silent Age. Um, last chapter- last episode we finished chapter one, sorry. Uh, this episode we're doing chapter two, The Future. After learning about Frank's sudden departure and getting promoted, drama unfolds as Joe finds a dying time traveler who asks him to save a man from- save man from extinction. Now in police custody, Joe must make sense of it all. And we're gonna restart again because I did not mean- did not record the first two chapters, which is frustrating. Chapter two, The Future. Look, I don't want to be unreasonable here. All I want is some simple answers to some simple questions. Do you want this to become complicated, do you? Because, uh, oh, we can do that, you know. Make things complicated. Is that what you want? No, sir. Yeah, didn't think so. Let's, uh, let's just keep this nice and informal, shall we? See, I'm a simple, easy-going fella. I try to be affable and not go too hard on people. That's what I find works the best. Now, my partner over here, he's a different kind of guy. A real stickler for the rules. Ain't that right, Burke? See, uh, I'm not too good with long, complicated answers. I confuse easily. Some kind of brain problem, I, I don't know. So, sometimes I gotta consult him, you know? Uh, in complicated matters. Uh, he's got a real talent for helping suspects simplify their statements. Thing is, uh, he's not much of a people person, so most people seem to prefer dealing with me. So tell you what, I give you some simple questions, you feed me some simple answers, and we're all home before Donahue. How's that sound? Now, do you mind telling me what this is? Take your time. How about you go shove it up your butt? How about that? Also, your buddy Burke looks like he's asleep. Intense police officer? More like, I don't, also what is with that mustache? I don't get it. It's a door, skylight, it's a camera. Hope the 10 pounds you gain on TV stays permanent. Scrawny guys like me don't last long in prison. You already look like a prisoner. <laughs> Can I hit it? Can I touch it? The device is pulsating with green light. I'm gonna click it. Fuck. What did I do? Whoa. Where did the lights go? I don't know, but the door's lit. Hello? Oh, that's bright. What is with you in brightness? Ooh, this looks dilapidated. Did we go into the future? I think we did. Man. <sighs> Man, I'm dizzy. What? What is this? What happened here? How long was I out? There's a door. <laughs> the sign on the door says evidence room is locked. Who's that? J. Edgar Hoover. I only count three steps. The first two are fine. The third seems to be somewhere in the basement. Let's go upstairs then. No. Oh god, what is this? I feel nauseous. I still don't have a clue what just happened, and now there's a dead body hanging from the ceiling. Well, what am I supposed to tell you? It's locked. Hey, a hammer. You must have nailed that door up in a hurry. It's been boarded up. Can I... This doesn't have a claw, but I still want to see. Okay, I can't do it. It's too thick to break. There must be a better way out. Up to the second floor? Yes? No? Abraham Lincoln. Far out. There's a safe hidden behind this far out man. I did not even mean to do that. <laughs> it just kind of happened, guys. Who's this picture of? White Earp. Who the fuck is that? <laughs> Okay, okay. I just, this might be totally far out, but what if the time travel guy was right? What if this weird box in my pocket actually took me out there? The future. God, this. I mean, think about it, Joe. What other possible explanations could there be? You're not dreaming, that's for damn sure. Head hurts too much. I mean, makes a good point. 
That also that rope looks like it's 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 from this person. It's locked. Oh, if that's lame. <sighs> There's a key attached to his belt. I should just grab it and hope it gets me out of here out here somewhere. Take There's a key is for I hope it takes me far away from here or wakes me up. Will it work for this door? No, it doesn't. Oh, does it work for the Evidence room? Yes, no, maybe? Yes! Gimme. Oh, well, shit. It's another corpse. Oh god, I must be losing. This police idea is that officer from the interrogation. It's Burke! Seriously creeping me out, man. I have an ID card now. Is that a katana? Oh my god. Ah, uh, stupid. Wait, can I break out the hammer? <clears throat> oh, come on, I can't even break a rusty old padlock with a hammer. I may be out of shape, but this is stupid. That's me about everything. I may be out of shape, but that's stupid. <laughs> okay, well, I have an ID now. Get me an ID office. Give me. I just jimmy Rick. Rigged it. This is like on Dragnet. I just jimmy rigged. I just I just broke into an office. Photographs. Some number scribbled on this is too short to be a phone number or a license plate. Maybe a door code or something. There's a desk. One of the drawers is unlocked. There's a bottle of gun oil in there. This desk has seen better days. Uh, it's a map of the country. It's riddled with pins, circles, and notes that look like they're written in a hurry. That's weird. It looks like lo location. Oh, I need- wait. I, I didn't take the gun oil. Gimme. Gimme. Whoops, almost dropped it. The bottle's really greasy. I wonder why, Joe. It's a good question. Okay, there's this this up here, so I think I can get into the safe. It worked! Ah, there's nothing in here. Nothing but this dumb paperclip. What a bummer, man. Why did I just waste my time for a paperclip? It's so stupid. <clears throat> I'm gonna go back in here, though. This. Like I said, I've played till chapter two on my own. That I thought it was recording and it wasn't. <sighs> now my hand hurts, and the only thing I've damaged is my self confidence. Can I pick it? Wow. That sounds like such an Owen Wilson wow. Wow. Open. Katana. Somehow I don't feel as excited about it now. I don't know why out of anything, like, I could have gotten a pocket knife, I could have gotten scissors, I could have gotten anything, but no, we went extra, and we have a katana now. Like, what? And I have to cut him down. Why? Hiya! Throws big- Ooh, that thud. Oof. See, that's my thing. Why would- like, why? So extra, like a katana out of anything. Hi, dead police officer, sir. Sir, sir. I'm not sure I'll get used to this. Probably not. There's a duty roster and that seems like a lot of officers were homesick this day. It's a big tree growing outside. I might be able to get out that way. Can I break this? Holy shit. Just a little more careful. I almost cut myself there. Okay, well, I don't know what I'm supposed to- I have- uh, I am gonna go check that dead body? Um, because it was a pretty dramatic thud, and I'd like to see what happened. That is unfortunate. Oh god. It's bad enough that he was hanging from the ceiling. This should come in handy. I just took a rope that a man hung himself with. 
Like, what the actual hell is happening here? Um, stair to the second floor. Don't mind me as I go out a giant open window. Out on a ledge. It's a tree branch. <laughs> Whoa, that's, uh, it's really far down. Whatever that guy was feeling that movie Vertigo, that's what I'm feeling right now. Can I rope it? Most important knot I've tied in my life. Can we just talk about the fact that he looped it around the tiniest fucking branch ever? But whatever. Okay, now I know this is some dream. I need to breathe and get a grip. Okay guys, that was chapter two. Um, I know I kind of went through the first two chapters really fast. I've already, I literally already played them and then it didn't record the audio so I had to re-record it, which is why I'm doing it. But I haven't played chapter three yet so that one I won't go through as fast because I'm also going through it again. Um, kind of like for the first time with you guys. I mean I played it two years ago but I don't remember shit, <laughs> honestly. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button. And if you want to see more, remember to hit subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.